Huh, that's odd. Why is there no ability to... Anywho, hello gamers! Can you believe we're already on the ninth East game, Monstrum Nox? I feel like uh, Lacrimosa of Dana came out... It might be a couple years now, but I feel like it just came out. I don't know about you. Hmm, I'm trying to figure out why I don't hear anything at all right now. Maybe it's... Give me a second. Oh, audio... Yeah? Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm just silly. I had my volume turned down. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. Um, Yeah, there's no settings menu right here. Love your art right off the bat. Hell yeah! If you've never played a East game, um, Grim, it's... uh. It's an RPG, action RPG, and they have amazing art, yes, amazing character, design, and the story is really well written. Um, I'm a huge fan of Nihon Falcom for this series. I'm gonna play on normal, I usually go for standard difficulty, I don't see why I should start this game in, as an insane bloodbath, but um, <laughs> for those of you who jump right into Lunatic, good for you. Uh, Vertical camera auto-correction? Uh, sure? I might hate it, I might turn off, we'll see. Disable assist mode. Enable footholds. Footholds will be added to locations where movement is challenging. Oh, huh. interesting. Nico would need that. I, I think I should be good. Sites can be adjusted within game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's start. I will be mostly quiet during scenes where there's voice acting. Just a side note. Save data from allow you to obtain special bonus item for each game. Ooh. I don't know if my save game is still on here. Yes. Is that to be clear data? I, I'm very bad at finishing my games. Cutscene! Good. You've made it out. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine here. Thank goodness they include subtitles. Custom to these walls. Hurry now. You must leave the prison before the guards catch wind of your escape. I hope that one day we'll meet again. Now go. The music's also quite good, by the way. Very, very pumped up battle type thing. There I am, it all, the red-headed main character of every game they've had somehow. Distant bells. You must learn to escape, you must hurry. I'm hurrying, I'm not hurrying. Prison break from the start, intriguing. Yes, and then they throw you into a... I've never been a fan of this by Nihon Falcon. They do this in their, um... Uh, Cold Steel's... Cold Steel's... Trials of Cold Steel series 2, where it's just this these random blocks of here's your tutorial what instead happened? of no reports received so far Been instead of somehow out. working it into That's the game well I guess I have a death wish what was it to dash the I've already forgotten the instructions That's a jump current objective typical thing space full screen you lost me bud display mini map down. Oh, okay. Well, here I am, and I'm going over here, to where the objective is. You can zoom in and out, and what I've always loved about Nihon Falcom is they... Hello, hello! <laughs> hey, G-Man. Uh, no worries, I'll be streaming again uh, maybe later this week? And then this weekend we're doing, um... The Survivalists. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the map all actually shows you depth. Like, have you ever been playing an RPG and you're thinking to yourself, what the fuck, is that up or down for me? I can't even tell. Well, this game will actually show you. Like, hey, by the way, you need to go down two levels to get to where you want it to go. Word? Okay, um... I'm probably gonna come up on a tutorial battle pretty soon. There's a guy over there. There's... Oh, the prisoners. I was gonna say, oh, there's people over there. Yeah, they're, they're over here, too. Report! What is it? There's been an escape from the East Wing cell block. Run, Forrest! Now. Stand by for a follow-up report. It's a me! See you all! There's lots of video if you want some hilarious banter and poor driving. Yeah, Nico cannot drive. Worth yes, a good sir. goddamn. Okay, I can understand why the cells are locked, but why can't I get into any other doorway? I should hide instead of run. Um, down? 
<laughs> only option. Hmm. Convenient hatch. Okay. Comments on the video. Oh, I didn't see your comment for whatever reason. Maybe Nico already responded to it? Hello, Nico. Seems to be some sort of underground warehouse. There must be a way to escape through here. And for those of you who are interested, I did get the uh, packed edition of this, so I do have a beautiful... Grim, you think he's cute, don't ya? Don't ya? Don't ya? Don't ya? He is cute. Adol has always been cute. Anyway, um, saving my game, you're not gonna see a screen for a minute, but I did get the... the box set, so I'm gonna have to open it on camera at one point. And my Atelier Ryza 2 box set finally came in as well. It's a lovely box. Uh, so I'll be doing a few unboxings, um, probably later on in the month because we are in the middle of a move, so I don't... Damn right, he cute! Um, I <laughs> won't have the time or the space to do so. This looks like standard issue for guards, best to equip it just in case. TUTORIAL! Oh, they lead me right to the screen. Okay, and there's a sword. Equipment does actually show on your character, which is nice. I, I prefer that. I don't think armor does, but I could be wrong. Maybe they changed that. I know they all have their standard outfits that they actually wear. Make sure there's nothing else. Oh, there are your enemies. Restricted area. Prison guards and staff prohibited from entry by order of the Hieroglyph Knights. Sign says danger, but you not might have a choice if you want to escape. The sign says danger, but your eyes say leave here. Or I guess the passageway says leave here. Something feels off about the beasts wandering the underground path. Oh, good lord, what is that thing? Dragging itself along on spindly legs. Grotesque forms make them closer to monsters than anything else. Uh, yeah? That is what that is. Alright, attack, triangle to lock on. All of this- like, ugh, couldn't you guys have just, like, while I'm fighting, Show me the first screen, right? And then I go into battle and hit square, and then you flash something else. Like, hey, by the way, you can also do this while you're doing that. But no, instead they're just like, hey, here is a screen full of nonsense that you're probably going to forget just as soon as we've shown it to you. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Sure shit's about to get real, though. It's one of those things where it's like, we're starting out fine, but... Now you've met your ruin at the hands of a, a boss that's impossible to beat. At this current moment, maybe when you come back later and you've got more experience under your belt, you'll be able to, uh, to do the thing. Let's guard. Yep, here we go. A nice wide open place where something can come crawling out of the ground. Or... I've arrived too late. Hello. What's with your arm and leg? Um. <laughs> Is it every day you're this unabashedly brazen? And we have only just met. Oof. No matter. Despite who you are, your role here is crucial. Oh, okay. That's why I didn't see a G-Man. It's Nico's fault. I blame things mostly on Nico. Right? I like her! She real cute. Hopefully she's prevalent in this box set. I'm now looking at it, thinking, thinking to myself. Impressive. You've assimilated with the curse without so much as a squeal. I'm a vampire! Now who's cute? How about the Crimson King? I did. Curse, you say? Now you must calm yourself and fully embrace it. Oh, this is new. Do you understand your gift? My gift is There's the ability no to repel up the side of things. The wheels of fate are already turning. The wheel of fate Use is turning. Use your power to escape this place. We will meet again in time. Owen, my name is Aprilis. Keep looking, damn it! But they told us we're not supposed to be down here. Who cares? We have to find the He's prisoner. gonna look back and she's going to be gone. Ooh. 
Spooky. Aprilis, I need you to get back here so I can get a good look at you. Your pursuers follow closely behind. You must proceed quickly. Womp womp. Crimson Line is my ability. Okay, I'm the Crimson King and I've got the Crimson Line. I don't... I don't know how I feel about this. Sorry, just testing out. That's very important, the camera controls, because sometimes in the middle of battle you're turning the camera around you're like, holy shit, where am I looking right now? Ho ho ho! Your sword seems to have changed shape to suit your appearance. Hmm. Transformed into a gothic sword. Perfect. Mysterious power surges through your body. Hold to unleash skills! If you guys have played any of the uh, Tales of C uh, titles, then you'll be familiar with the skill system in that you just hold down R1 and that allows you to use skills socketed to your face buttons. So at any point you only have four skills available to you and you can switch them out um, via your party management menu. So currently I've just got this one skill. It was a very quick jab sort of thing, but you can see there on the bottom right, it's uh, it shows me what I currently have equipped. The blue meter is of course my um, ability power, I'm not sure what to call it in this case, but that's what allows me to use that skill, so I can't just use it again and again and again. I got some raisins! You should help with recovering your health. What weird and meager fare. Like, is it just a pile of raisins I found in a box? Or does it come in, like, a box? Like, a proper raisin does? You know those red boxes? And if not, am I handling these with my bare hand while fighting monsters? These are the things I think about. These are the very essential <laughs> and logical things that I think about whenever I receive equipment in a game. Anyone else? Just me? I'm not crazy. Oh, shit. All right, so that hurt with me. I was I was gonna jump down to attack that thing, and then I just went careening into the abyss. Water is not my friend. I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, water apparently kills me. That's nope. It was a fall. It's a steep fall. No, nope, it's water. Really, just me. Whatever. There was a monster here when I went up. I it just spontaneously combusted. I guess. And closed. Yep. <laughs> closed, but just high enough to force you to jump. Oh no. X wall. See, I couldn't double jump before, so the the curse that Aprilis gave me allows me to be a little more athletic as well. What's this thing on the Let's ground? Take a break. Oh, okay. Well, that's obvious. An odd stone disc with a seal carved into it sits on the ground. Soothing energy emanates at your feet. And now I can save. Well, save wherever. Step on relief tiles to recover HP and status ailments. It's good. Which means some shit's about to go down. I almost have enough experience to- Oh, did you see he changed? Give me a moment, I'll go back. Raffle. The chest was for discarded raisins from the cookies because some people just don't like them. Nico likes oatmeal raisin. Look how cute Adol is! Oh, He does look a little bit like a vampire. Okay, I'm gonna go find some fan art of him real quick. Can I? Can I go this way? I can hear voices from this direction. No, I can't. I was gonna say, oh, it's open. Is there a chest in there? You know, I like treasure. Hmm, another wide open area. Perfect for a... A heal? Whatever the fuck that is, it's perfect for that. Here we go with the, uh, kind of rock and roll music. Mar Mertudo, Wicked Toad of the Underbrain. That's cute. Catchy. Wee. Should I eat some raisins, guys? What is that? Okay. Thought it was maybe some health bomb. So yeah, it's um an RPG, but action. Oh, right. I can lock onto him. I'm silly. Uh, <laughs> an action RPG. So there's no turn-based nonsense to deal with. There's plenty of uh, party management. There's plenty of 
learning skills, leveling up, and um, otherwise saving the world. Crimson Line in battle! After locking onto an enemy, you can close the gap of Crimson Line. Yeah, how much health does a single raisin actually heal? Let's try the raisins, shall we? Oh, skills. Raisin, 100 HP! Holy shit! A hundred per raisin? Or is it like a hundred per handful of raisin? How does that work? Somebody explain to me. Uh, also of note, when using skills you actually gain... Um, I was not locked on anymore. You actually gain experience with the skills, so it'll do more. Why is this thing just jumping everywhere? Just die for me. <laughs> Yosuke will now die for you. I am not doing any damage to this bitch. Oh, okay. So the Crimson Lion actually stunned him. That's beautiful. Although I think that's due in part to the little blue line underneath him right now. Yeah, it's filling up. But it adds to the stun bar. Very cool. Oi. Okay, now I can use a raisin. I didn't want to waste it. I was just... Yep, a hundred. Exactly a hundred. Holy shit. And it's one hundred per each. That's special. Flash move! There's all sorts of little things, like that flash move I I performed. Um, it's by dodging at just the right time. There's also a flash... Uh, there's one for guarding at just the right time. It's a flash break, I want to say it's called. I could be wrong. All sorts of timing bonuses if you're particularly good at it. I have my moments, and then other times I'm just like... Ugh. I'm just gonna keep hitting you, you know? We've all been there. It's like, oh, there's a there's a, a guard button? Madness. There we go, level four. Who the fuck guards in video games? DPS or get the fuck out. Good time for Cutie to show up. Where you at, girl? Damn. I was on a roll with these predictions, but damn. Your body's still adapting to your new power. An overwhelming feeling of fatigue envelops you. Please at least crawl somewhere before you die. Damn. Is that really inmate 217? He's evolved! This isn't even his final form. It's just like... Silence! I want that rogue and I... Whoa, what did that cut off? I didn't press anything. Yeah. It's unlikely that he'll make it out of these catacombs in one piece. The aqueduct leads straight to the city. Send a search party as a precaution. How do I like the voice acting? Oh, it's fine. Serviceable. I don't... Have you ever had a dream where you weren't you? You were someone else? I swear Adol didn't sound like this in other games. Am I wrong? It makes me wonder. Am I really me? Perhaps such a dream is my reality. In my reality is the dream. He sounds a little um I discovered the answer during my adventures in Balduk, and the answer was astoundingly simple. They are both equal truths. What is real is defined by what is not. <laughs> who one is is defined by who one is. Nico's isn't. right, I do prefer one Japanese must voices. Accept these truths if they wish to live and learn. And grow. It was in this prison, this cradle, where my dreams and my reality became intertwined. Adol Kristen. An excerpt from Balduk Prison. Sorry, I'm trying to shut up so you guys can actually hear the voice acting without me picking it apart on top of it. Eh, another trophy, at all the fugitive. Um, at all. At all. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I, I usually prefer Japanese voices to English voices. I'm hoping there's a way to change that with good reason enough. English dub is 50-50 for me. Yeah, same. Oh, back in time. This blue hair dude is still alive. We finally made it to Balduk. Good lord. The word is, it's home to the biggest slammer in the Roman territories. Okay, these two are familiar faces from Even the last from game. Here, I can tell the city's huge. It all always is, but Doki. 
Doggy? Doji? Doge. Look, Adel. There's a security checkpoint at the gates. Hmm. I may have left my life in crime, but getting the old shakedown still puts me on edge. Oh, you're changed, man? Anyway, it'd be nice to catch some shut-eye in an actual bed for once. They say the garrison runs a tight ship throughout the city. What with the prison and all. Well, let's go see what's going on. Doji sounds familiar. I think I know who voices him. I wouldn't be surprised, Grim. You're a, an encyclopedia worth of knowledge. Let me see if I can change the voices. I didn't even think about that before I started. Language. Voice. Japanese. Now, is it going to force me to go to the title screen, or can I actually just listen to it in Japanese? Some games are like, you have to go back to the main screen before... There's no voice there. Oh... Okay, that's the people over there. I was like, wait, that's his voice now? <laughs> the fuck? Uh, let me go talk to these people. See what happens. Wish me luck. Talk to intense man. I try to avoid that. And you're some sort of samurai? Look at his armor. Oh, he sounds... Fine. They said the name of the game in the game. The what? word for monster is Kaijin? Like. Gajira? Kaiju? It's always, I've just transferred here, or I'm days away from retirement, isn't it? Whisper, 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 whisper. Oh. I'm sorry, did y'all make the very beginner mistake of walking into a place with a warrant on your head? Out for your arrest? Everyone in this world should know him by now. Come on now. Same name, same face. Forever now. Oh, yep. <laughs> What'd you do? Wow. Shira Ah, continuation. Very nice. See, and it's one of those things where it's unbelievable that he had nothing to do with anything, but he had nothing to do with anything. He said, I'm under arrest, Oki, not you. Don't, don't shove yourself into my prison sentence. Oh, these must be the Hieroglyph Knights. Well, I'm a special guest. He made the time. あの、怪人どもが。怪人。さっき言ってた。あ、だのどぎ、オンダノーズ。怪人出現の際には、監獄長にまずご一報をということでしたね。それを先に言わぬか。それでは、この場は我々がお預かりしても。This is a trap. Zeni Shugo Seo Koreori Hon Shibitaiwa 
予定を変更して怪人の捕獲に向かう今日こそあの目障りで機械な連中を監獄にぶち込んでくれるわ捕獲した者には俺からの報奨としてうぅ、let me join the hunt おぉ I'm down for that They're running in slow motion さてとアドルクリスティングさあえー、っと、西国騎士団の団長を務めている yeah, I thought so, h i e r o g l y p h notes 行こう、見知り置きを願おう Well, thanks. You're a lot nicer than that last guy. Oh, dear. Can I at least see the city before you lock me in a box? He's a busy guy. He's a busy guy. Kimi no Shogu wa Kangok Chong a Hanashita to me. Kono mama wa reware ni doko o shite morozo. Oh! Adol! Oh shit! Nanti h a y a s a t a That was rude. Patrick Seats. He voices the useless samurai in Rice and Ruin. Alberic in Octopath Traveler and some Warcraft characters to name just a few. Kabe Koshi no Dogi Kun ka. Sanjutten. Lakudai dana. Oh, wait, the English voice or the Japanese voice, Grim? Was. Because what's his face? Oh, yeah, what's the useless samurai did have. I don't remember his name, it was so long. Did have a. um... Did have an English voice, too. Yeah, see, they don't want you. Oof. Shade. What is this point system you got, bro? Just because he's not Japanese doesn't mean he doesn't speak Japanese. Gosh. <sighs> I found myself here way too many times. Just in general, in games, waking up in a prison cell for one reason or another. Yeah, you're inside the prison. That's what that whole cutscene was about. Hello. Why do you look like a militiaman from the from an earlier era? That's rude. I'm a person, not a number. How did he open the door without touching it? Oh boy, I get to meet the other prisoners. How frightening are they? Cool story, bro. Except we already know that we escape. Ish. I'm going to kill you first, Heinz. Hmm. It's a little, uh, little bear in here. Oh, I see. Yeah, you can go back in the other direction. Now, am I 217 as in there are 217 perhaps plus inmates in here, or my 217 as in the 217th person to come through here? Because this does not look like more than more than 30 even. Oh. Yeah, 
This guy looks like he couldn't have possibly done anything to get into prison. Oh. Wow, that's it. Oh, he ducked. <laughs> Should I help? <laughs> I can knock over my cup or drop my spoon. What does either have to... We'll knock over the cup and see what happens. Water spills onto the table. Okay, he's 212. And the other guy is 163. He's been here longer then? Oh no, you're 212. Okay, the brutish guy has been here longer. Heinz literally just told me we're not allowed to talk to each other. It's a weird thing to notice. Is he using it to tunnel out? Oh. Oh, Okay, so either you're playing pretend or someone's stealing silverware. Line up, boys, it's time for your body searches. I'm just sitting here eating my food. I changed my mind. I'm gonna kill you first, 163. Hicks, Hines, and Roy.俺たちは騎士団すら把握しきれていない。迷い込んだが最後、二度と地上の光を拝めないって話。それにしても、いきなりやらかしてくれたな。I this is so true, but the whole point of these games, don't be hero kids. It's more trouble than it's worth. Who? Who? Is she cute? Who? Is the warden a lady? Hmm. It's interesting how short the Japanese is in comparison to all the words on the screen. Oh, just an interrogator? She doesn't even have a name. Uh, shit. Am I 216 or 217? Oh god! I think I'm 217. Okay. <sighs> Flimsy looking. I like her voice, but I don't like the things she says. She's so cute. <laughs> she is grim, she is. Uh, I'm a name her and ship her with a premise. I get that a lot. Ugh. Yes, ma'am. Why are there quotes around adventures? Totally not my fault. It just happens. Yeah, he's had a he's had quite the pedigree of adventure. In case you guys have not followed the E series. Girl, I'll show you. 
What if I refuse? There... I'm already in a prison. What else you can do? Okay, preposterous is her favorite word. Seems that shipwrecks are a common occurrence for you. Hilarious. That's how the, first, the game before this started. I don't know how a tentacle monster coming out of the water and crashing a ship is my fault. Has it really been that many? <laughs> so many. Interesting. Distinguish reality from adventure. So it's adventure here, the dream part? Why, yes, I have. I think this whole sequence is poking fun at the series of events that occur in each game, and then somehow he starts at, at square one back at, at the next one. Oh, autoplay. I think I hit square. I mean, how do you even respond to that? When you're finally released, you were already well into the night. After eating the cafeteria alone, you return to the solitary confinement in your cell. There appears to be something in your clothes. <laughs> you rifle through them to check. It's a fork! Who the hell put a fork in my clothes? Am I gonna shank a guard? Right. I kind of pieced that together. It must have ended up in your clothes at some point during that altercation. And then I went into interrogation and no one thought to pat me down? It would be trouble if someone spots it. You should find a place to hide it. Okay. Whoa, this is a very small cell. Uh, there's not even, like, a chamber pot in here. How the hell? <laughs> I mean, only option. Hidden enough tucked under the bed. That's, like, the first place they're gonna check, dude. No? Is there not any other... Interrogator, you're going to get shipped with a prolus. Interrogator. Preposterous! <laughs> the name of the fic would be Preposterous. And then it would just be, like, the interrogator not believing any of the things a prolus is capable of. Winkity wink wink wink. Apparently this is the only fucking place you could think of. Really? Dude. There are cracks in the wall that you probably could have shoved that shit into. Uh-oh. Oh. I have a neighbor? Who dat? Oh, you have a very soothing voice. Nice to meet you, neighbor. That's a trap. Come a little closer, my dear. All the better I can hear you. Ah, so the Tonarini Daremoinaikara Taikus stayed at Oh, okay, so no, he's been here longer than me. No, bro, you seem cool. So no, I knew Show me your face. Apparently, I'm a habitual liar. <laughs> Are you not? Oh, 
ところが5年ほど前からその発表を急に取りやめた収容者が増えたこともあるだろうが妙なところがあってね They publicly shamed inmates. Well, criminals. Take a drink, I know, Jacan was let to you. Kono Kango Deva, I should have come to Tachiga. It did not come to the Jacan. That's important to know for escape. Carrera no many to Maritakuna Gaba. Junkai Jacan, you are Kyo Skerkota. Sate. There's not a clock in here. When the hell am I supposed to know it's、uh, patrol hours? You were interrogated for several more days. Okay. You can't get blood out of a stone. ガナン諸島の事変に関する尋問は終了とする。気象を操る古代の遺物。ナビシテムの箱か。そんなおとぎ話など、到底信じることはできんが。Honey, you would not believe the things I've seen. You could call them preposterous. 報告と供述内容に矛盾はないようだな。This means you'll let me. Maybe it's because I'm not lying, woman. 気に入らないが。状況証拠と証言が一致していることは確かのようだ。Okay. この数日間にわたる協力については、私からも感謝しよう。どうでも言うと思ったか。真偽とは別に、oh. 冒険と称する行為が無意に世を騒がせる可能性は高い。She's annoying. 帝国領内における官庁行為の疑いも晴れたわけではないぞ。I've done nothing wrong. You can't, but I'll ask anyway. What does he need so not to kick up? Kono yona topina hanasio, shinjiro to you no ni muri gar. What exactly is your point here? Tainanda de Watasio Kono yona mono no tantoni. Who, 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 it's a job. Kansu Nihaku Junanagoa, Roman Teco, Hongo Kue, Gososhi. Oh, no, you die what's you kill Surikoto to Sur. Okay. Sure, they get. So this is just steadily getting worse. This is probably going to have to be a long stream. You know,、um, JRPGs tend to be a little long-winded in the setup, so we'll we'll see plenty of dialogue, and then finally I'll be able to fight some stuff.、Um, wait, what did he ask me? I was I was scrolling.、Uh, I guess it doesn't matter what I say to him. <laughs> This is true. Where he at? 聞いたことないかいこの通路の奥には監視すら立ち入り禁止の区域があるらしい、oh, right、何でもここが要塞だった頃から存在する隠し通路だそうでおそらく緊急時の脱出のためのね Where are you telling me this? <笑>少しでも君の参考になるかと思ってね外へつながっている可能性は高いが、通路はかなり複雑みたい。Yeah, I've seen worse. 人の生き物たちが行く手を阻むなんて噂すらある。Oh, they were strange, for sure. 確かに、隠し通路以外にも。I bet you have to make my way back here after I leave. 知り合ってもないが、Recoup. 君が出して運命を待つとは思えない。私に言われるまでもなく。Let me see your face. Oh, it's the dude from earlier. He's the one who slipped it into my clothing somehow without me noticing. So yeah, man. The meek prisoner. Hmm. See, no, no good deed goes unpunished. Fork acquired. Perfect. All right. So yeah, this is. We're almost caught up to where we were earlier. Press a single prong of the fork against the floor until it bent. Shaped into a lockpick to unlock a cell, a trick you learned from Doki. I'd like you folks at home to go and get a fork <laughs> and try this. Haha! -ha! I knew it! ね
Oh yeah, he was the guy who was speaking in the beginning. He's like, it's okay, I've become accustomed to living here. Who's you all along? That's a little strange. Here, I'll help you escape. Uh, I don't need to go. Probably also true. Yeah, that was him. Hmm. Alright, so here we are, full circle. And then. Hopefully, we'll meet again, but not in the prison. There should be asterisks there. Well, the sound of water. I appear to be drowning. Oh, here's the city. <laughs> I don't really have the time to luxurious take a luxurious walk in the moonlight. Also, I'm back to normal. Yeah. I see this. The mysterious power from the curse seemed to have disappeared. I doubt that's how that works. Maybe only within the prison. You should maybe move. I should maybe move. You know, like, in plain sight. All he has to do is turn around. You need to find somewhere to hide. Yes, thank you. That looks like a church. I mean, he's in a strange land, in a strange town, and he knows no one, but... I appreciate his honesty, but it's still sad that we have to leave him. You yeah, alright? I'm sure we'll encounter him again. I'm bigger than a rat, sir. Find a place to hide. Looks like I'm going over there. Normally I'd walk around and try to look at things, but obviously time is a factor here, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and do what they want me to do. Worry about it later. Ugh. How do they not see you? they wanted me to take command. What is this? Um, I don't know, it looks like a curio. Okay, it is in fact entirely empty. It sounded like the door opened, I was like, oh shit! I feel like this would be the first place someone would look. Oh. Stairs must lead into a basement, you can love. Those helmets be too big, I bet. Oh, that's true. We've already searched the entire area? That is a lie! <laughs> and you guys stopped right outside this building to have this Oh, there we go. Oh, it is an inn. It's a weird symbol for an inn. Hmm, I wonder if this is going to become my impromptu hideout. Your footsteps fade into the distance. Bum, bum, bum. Your fatigue catches up to you as you feel your consciousness drifting away. Could you at least crawl down the stairs? Fall asleep here and wake up- or not wake up because of the concussion from smacking into the stones below. Your pursuers might have given up. You want to see what's going on inside, but someone may recognize you. So... Disguise? It's a rather large inn. Oh, chest. Red scarf and black hair dye. Hmm! <laughs> what? Oh, he's still cute! Oh my goodness, he looks like a... Uh, Roy! Suffice for a disguise, now you can leave undetected. 
Like a Roy cosplayer. An escaped fugitive. Oh, that's hilarious. Before and after. We're only a little different. Same clothing, though. Couldn't you have changed? Downloadable content. It's weird that they added that. Um, I can't show you the shop because it'll... Oh, he did change! I can't show you the shop because it'll... Um, it'll black out that screen. It's... I don't know, sensitive information. But um, these games typically come with a... a smattering of DLC that adds um, additional items as well as... I don't have any items. I don't know why they even mentioned it. Um, additional items as well as um, vanity equipment. So if that's something you look forward to, then these games got it. Not too much, but it does help. Also, Roy has red hair. Still cute, though. Not Roy, then. Um, Ike? Is Ike the blue one? You knew who I meant. Marth. It's one of those. Ike or Marth. I think Marth has blue hair. And I ship him with Roy. Yeah, it's Marth. Marth, 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 Marth. Because I know it said black hair dye, but it's, um, <laughs> not quite. Seems to be no more pursuers in sight. You should take a look around town and search for your companion. That easy, guys? Ike, Krom, Marth, Lucina in disguise. He, he is a little, little slender, so I could see Lucina. Journal updated. People. It's strange that it makes that sound. I feel like a ninja. Any hoodoodles. Um, okay, let's go look at the town like I had originally wanted to do, but that wasn't really working out in my favor. Now, I will say these games do not look like PS5 level, 4K, etc, etc. They really never have, but it, it gets the job done. I've never been too concerned. Front gates are under heavy watch. Okay. Um, I've never been too concerned with that. Holding visitor's kiosk? What? Hey there. Sorry, but I'm actually helping old Gramps over here right now. Mind waiting a bit? Thanks. Okay. Old Gramps. I just talked to you because you're an icon, but whatever. Where do I need to go? Let me heal. This is a wanted board of my... of my future colleagues, I promise. I should be on there, right? Yep, there I am. Well, now it appears someone's managed to break out of the prison. There's no small feat for someone without the monstrum's powers. Ha! I'd wager the Romans are feeling pretty hot under their collar by now. Then this redhead criminal is on the loose. He may very well be a vicious murderer. How frightening. Perhaps he had something to do with Cardinal Lindheim's disappearance. The, I noticed the camera's on that chick over there. They say it was the Monstrums who abducted the Cardinal, though. Then again, I just quickly believe the Romans fabricated the rumor themselves. Exactly! People blame the Monstrums for just about every little, silly little mishap these days. You know, they're like boogeymen. Speaking of Monstrums, didn't one show up in the main square just yesterday? Sure did. It was the white cat. I saw her with my own two eyes. You did? Wow. I thought I wouldn't to give to catch even a glimpse of her. Spot the relevant cute character. Yeah, right. <laughs> Camera angle just so that she's in the center of it, staring at him. The white cat's cute. They have a plush for her on the um, Miss America website. I almost got it, but then I was like, eh. It's one of those little human-eyed plushes that look kind of like the yarn dolls. Uh, what are those called? Well now. Oh no. Hello. What are you? Indeed. I like how dreamy the music becomes. <laughs> <laughs> White cat? Isn't she cute? Hawk. Wings. Doll. Raging bull. Ooh, I know who Nico's gonna like. 
Renegade. I've always loved the character design, G-Man. Agreeing with you on there. <laughs> Honey, your name is Raging Bull. Exactly. Who are you, people? <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Nor did I consult you about this. Yes, ma'am. Has she been telling you that? Alright, so Doll and Aprilis. How do we how do we feel about this um this matchup? She's got like a steam powered arm there. Relax. Charonian village. Like Sharon? Oh, this is the land of the dead. Perlis doll, raging bull, and white cat then. I could see it. So what's this crystal for? That's one opulent crystal! I'm not trying to be lady, it's, it doesn't give me an option. This is a sphene. It plays a role in dispelling the Nox. But play it no mind for now, Crimson King. Go, harness your power as you see fit. Enough of the pomp, just tell them to slaughter whatever comes our way. <laughs> Alright, so in that case it's gonna be Hawk and Adol. I have to do is buy you enough time like always, right? That's correct. Focus your efforts on expelling the foes before you. Alright, so we have to defend this point. I mean, fast approaches. Let's move. I could always... I could also see, um... Yeah, okay. So this is a... A, a bit of a way to change up your regular gameplay flow by giving you a... A task to do here, which in this case is protecting the crystal. So, um, in the previous game, Lacrimosa of Dana, there was also a, uh, a tower defense type deal where you had to protect a point, so it's doing the same thing here, but you have a lot more health than you did then. Who is, um, I'm trying to watch them, who is firing? These things do not care about us. They're just like, well, we're gonna get to here. Someone is firing, like, projectiles. There's a mage? I'll assume it's Doll. This Raging Bull has a giant axe. No, it's actually whoever the hell this is. The, the little guy that was standing next to her. Also, local music. I guess it's Sharon. Is it Shard giving the landscape? Oh, maybe. Yeah, they always have really good music. Oops, it took some damage. I'm sure then that I'll get a score after I've done based on how much damage this this the fiend takes. And you'll notice I am racking up points at the at the top based on what sort of moves I'm using and etc. etc. Let me just uh slap you a little bit. Result, kill rate 100%, HP sustain rate 60%, all kill 1000. Oh. oh, just two, okay. Slay the Lord of the Night, oh that's fun. Oh, that's fun. Some sort of Cerberus. Now in previous games, your party members could switch between them. Seems these guys have control of their own bodies, but I wonder if after there was a flash card, I don't know if you guys saw it. Um, I wonder if after this, 
I'll be able to actually add them to my party and therefore paying attention to the tower. God damn it. I didn't see those two back here. Oh, that took no damage. Sphine protected. Thank you, thank you. And then... You're impressive. Save decoy bonus. Or was it decoy? No, at the top, nothing. Okay, well... Right. Yes. Yay! And yep, I got some stuff for it. Marrow flower, copper ore, aromatic lumber, and small leaf. There is crafting involved. First time rank bonus. Black fig, sounds like food. Iron ore, first time clear bonus. Okay, so plenty to get from this. Now, in Lacrimosa of Dana, the... Um, these little instances of tower defense were completely okay and i ever stop talking first uh were completely up to you whether or not you wanted to do them and of course um by completing them you would get additional resources that you would need so it's a it's a matter of are you going to go back here try your very best to defend this point or are you not into that either way you you will have to at some point because you want to level up your characters and build more equipment. Why are we doing this? I too would like to own a gun that cause can grant curses such gifts to people and make crystals glow. A grim, it's not just the gun, it's the arm too. So if you would kindly donate your arm to science, we can we can set about starting that for you. I knew it! She's sending us back there. Okay, see, now we can save that gentleman. For sure, that is the whole point of going back. Oh. Just, just dressed like this? And no one's like, um, what the fuck? Call for science collaboration points. Wait, wrong game. <laughs> okay, bye. Renegade, that was his name. He's got, like, projectiles. Guessing this is a regular thing for you all. <laughs> Yeah, I, I kind of do have a lot of questions. If you don't have the answers you're looking for, story of my life. Oh. Okay. She used them to turn us into these things. Someone's desperate for friends. Okay, I could see employees or even slaves, but not friends, white cats. Hey, she also um, envies the magic bullets, Grim. Convenient. Oh, that's a good one. Puppet. She was looking for puppets. So just die, Hawk. Go brood somewhere else. Yeah, that sucks. Uh-oh. Yeah, you guys are very conspicuous. Call the constable! These are the people who were just in front of that sign. Seriously, guys, are we just standing here letting these people talk about us? Leave! Yeah, you're in plain sight. You weren't even trying. 
I've heard that before. At all, for whatever reason, it's always very, very obvious. I mean, I feel like the kid with the horns is a little more obvious than me, but whatever. So, they just live here in the city? They have no choice. Oh, that means that inn is totally going to be my place of residence. Doggy! I didn't have to look for you, you found me! Horns are totally in. Is it the fresh new look that the kids are wearing? I'm like glad I found you before the soldiers did. A lot has happened, <laughs> understatement. I bet. I'm sorry, he saw me and recognized me and didn't realize that I, I'm, I have a whole different hair color now. I look like an adventurer? Yeah, man. Now that you're a fugitive, you mean again? Uh oh. We should go. You're right, we were in plain view. Just chilling. I know a place. Yep, to the abandoned building. I bet you're going to open up the inn at some point. Yeah, make it look nicer. Have all the monstrums live here? It'll be a monstrum house. That's a lot to take in, he says off screen in a calm voice. Hmm. So that makes you one of these monstrums? Present with monsters in the basement. A mystery woman with false limbs. A prelice? Right, the one place I shouldn't be right now, I can't leave. I'm sorry this keeps happening to us. <laughs> Excuse you. You're standing in it, boo. Can I decorate? Yeah, there was some town building in Lacrimosa of Dana, so I will assume that I will be able to customize this place at least a little bit in, in aspects of improving and making this into a little, a little home hole instead of a hell hole. And with that, the mystery of Balduk beckon a new, unexpected adventure. A prelate who cast a curse upon you, and the monstrums who share your gift. Each particular peculiar event unfolds one after another in this town known as the Prison City. After you finally settled down to sleep, you reflected upon the events of the past few days. Before long, you fell fast asleep. Chapter 2 Monstrum Knocks It's so weird seeing it without red hair. Now this is a hideout fit for a monstrum. Ain't much to look at now, but we'll spruce her up like new. Hell yeah! Stuck killing monsters for who knows how long. The way I see it, the other monstrums are more keen on keeping to themselves. One of them steals on a moral high ground, and one thinks the city's a giant cage match. <laughs> what? Maybe they've given up. You saying they've already tried? Maybe we'd learn a thing or two by asking them. Something else has been on my mind. Is it the prison? Yeah, you so think so too, right? That there's something fishy about it? Prelis herself said there was a mystery to be solved in there. What's to do with a prisoner in the cell next to you? Not to mention that creepy maze of a basement crawling with monsters. You ever heard of any prison like that? 
only thing I think of is not just a prison or that it wasn't always one. Well, yeah, it was a fortress. Either way, it's a dangerous place. Sure, except dangerous to you, may as well come in a wrapped present tied with a bow. <laughs> no two ways about it at all. Looks like our next adventure is already underway. I suppose. You've never been in a situation like this. Things are getting interesting, huh? If you really plan on looking into the prison, then there's something you need to know first. I heard a rumor about the prison's got a frequent visitor who knows a lot about it. Works for a local big shot establishment called the Pendleton Company. Is it close by? Sure is. You can find it in the central district north of the main gates. Could be a waste of time, but hey, you're not going anywhere anytime soon. One more thing. On the off chance that Eprilis was bluffing about that curse, won't hurt to see for yourself whether you can leave the city or not. Oh boy. Okay, you know the plan, just keep your head down out there. The white cat's melancholy. Hmm. Is she the one stealing? I don't know who would think of this place as a zenith of the Grimwald. I just got another trophy. Wait, how do I leave regularly? Right, yeah. I mean, this place is looking a lot less dusty. They've already started to renovate. Her deeds circulate the town in whispers of her reputation among the citizens is far from poor. Yeah, it looks like I'm starting to get to know her first. The present city of Baldock seems to be much larger than you expected. Map might prove useful for navigating the city. Press to open up the map. And there's the entrance. Alright, let's try running head first. But first you should head to the main gates and confirm whether or not you can leave. Aprilis doesn't seem like the type to to bluff. Oof. Alright, well here's our huh, here's our current standing. Region map, total explored. 1.150? What? Alright, sort of like an open world game. There is different quadrants of this city for you to explore. I'm not sure how large it is. We'll start walking around and take a look-see. And it uh, looks like eventually I will be able to leave the city because here we go, explore percentage. There are different treasure chests open up, graffiti to discover, and petals. Hmm. Just flower petals, just floating like these raisins in my pocket. Let's head out first and and see what all happens when we try. It's a monstrum! White cat. It's the hawk. He's causing trouble in the main square. Oh. What? A monstrum? If I remember right, the warden despises the hawk the most. <laughs> I'd rather not get his way. He's psychotic. Don't be a coward. We've got a job to do. Alright, you guys go over there and bother him. I'm gonna walk out. Security at the front gate seems to have lessened. How convenient. He's not even over there. Alright, so... Yup. Magical barrier spontaneously appears, pushing you back with a powerful force. The curse must be preventing you from leaving the city. Just like she said. Oh. Hello. You look like a... an alchemist. From one of the Atelier games. I'm so, so sorry. That's quite alright. Wait, this isn't White Cat, is it? I'm fine. It didn't even occur to me that they would look super different outside of their monstrum forms, so... Maybe? Been having a hard time at work. Already working at your age? What age is that? What kind of job is it? Is who? Girl in hat or black or white cat? She looks like a lolly. I have to be going now. Sorry again. Well, we'll know in just a moment when she runs out, or if she runs out. She seemed to be heading out of the town. Oh no! Went the opposite direction. Hmm. You decide to head for the Pendleton Company. I mean, you can reach the central district by going towards what looks like a giant church. Dashing. 
Just take care not to bump into the townsfolk. Oh, okay. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Can I talk to this man now? First face of the town. Can I interest you in the tour of the city? That'll spoil the adventure. Any <laughs> spots for the next prison Selena. tour? How convenient. You're a real jokester, you know that? We may be the prison city, but that doesn't make the place an attraction or something. Still, there's something different about you, I can tell. You just might be the guy for the job, in fact. Oh god, what job? See, for a visitor's kiosk, the info we have to offer has gotten a little outdated. All of us employees are locals, so we're kind of lacking an outsider's perspective. We'd like to pinpoint exactly what makes Baldock appearing to travelers, like you. What I'm getting at is, if you happen on any landmarks that really just speak to you, I'd appreciate it if you'd come back and speak and speak them right back over to me. What? Oh, cause speak to you. Okay, that was just weird wording. Sounds pretty interesting. Glad to hear you're so eager about it. I won't force you or anything, but you'd be helping us out a great deal. You wouldn't be walking away from this empty-handed, of course. You can offer your reward for every, oh, let's say, three landmarks you discover. Landmarks. Scenic loca locales in and around Baldock are marked on the map as landmarks. It's that green triangle. Okay, that's something to do. Alex is seeking information. The in undiscovered ones are blue triangles. Okay. Or for every three. I'm sure there's a trophy involved in English. Alex, do you speak it? <laughs> English, motherfucker! Alright, so these are undiscovered, yet discovered landmarks. Let's take a look and hopefully not touch that, um, that middle thing because I'm trying to do other stuff. This has a question mark. What's up? Puddler. In. In? I H N E. In? Right, I'm poor. Very poor. Okay, well. I'll talk to you when I have some money. Got places to go, gotta follow my rainbow. What's that? What's it? What's it? There's like a box on the. Let me open the map instead of hurdling myself over the. Uh oh, no. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Area map. Ha ha! Okay. So, is this an actual treasure chest? There's not anything here. And there's graffiti. Okay, so zooming in on your area map actually shows you all these little areas within where you currently are. That's so helpful. I don't think I can get down here. Oh. <laughs> there you go, stuck in the city, whether you like it or not. There's like a giant net, net over here. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at this graffiti then. Here? Master Chad lauded Gilly's pride and joy above anyone else. Honor be to the Hieroglyph Knights. Okay. Eh, that doesn't really seem like graffiti. That could have just been posted on a darn sign. Okay, and then there's a chest over here. I like completion, so if you're gonna give me a map with shapes on it, I'm gonna go to every shape. Flower. Alright. Yes, there's cooking. I include that in crafting. Oh, here we go again. Throw this monstrum into the clink. They deserve it for disturbing the peace. These are weird, as to be called graffiti. Anything else? There's a chest. Wait, can I just jump in here? No, I can't. Oh, it might be up top, right? Yeah, I don't think I can get to that one yet. There's no way to get up there. Or maybe it's something he'll give to me. We'll see. Any other graffiti on the ground? On the ground. That's a shop. Nope. I want to know where the hell that one is. How the... Because I can't go into the water. We've already seen what happens. Oh, it actually won't let me go over there. In the interest of not killing myself. Well, that's good. The only time an invisible barrier is good is when it stops you from, you know, careening off the side of something. Otherwise, they're aggravating. There's... Graffiti? Here? I can't actually go over there. Huh. Looks like I've got to unlock those areas. There's also something sparkly over there that I seem to have missed. What could it be? It's not on my map. Or maybe it's about to be. What? 
I can't get past this point. That's odd. Okay, so clearly I have to deal with whatever the hell those weird glowing nets are before I can actually touch things. Alright, let's take a look at these landmarks then. There's graffiti. Alright, fess up. Who keeps leaving footprints on the side of my house? Oh goodness. Oh, there's one over here. I will bet you that it was the monstrum. I think I have to go around. I can't just jump down like that. Oh, okay, these blue dots are the... the uh, landmarks. This is nice. Fountain Plaza, an impressive landmark spotted in the city of Another unforgettable memory of your adventures. Okay, that's one. There was a second one over here, but I need three total. These are, yep, shops. Plenty of them, too. Uh, there's no sense in actually going up to them, considering I can't... can't currently afford anything, so let's just keep looking at these landmarks. This is... What is this? Looks like I've got to go inside. Oh, cathedral. I was right. So where's the point I need to stand in? Oh. Oh. Sister Mel, are you the... Are you the point I'm supposed to be looking at right now? You got a cute face. Mass is held both in the morning and the evening. Oh no, thank you. We are accepting alms from all our charitable worshippers. We accept many forms of alms. Everything helps, especially any surplus food items you may have. I'm happy to help. Church thanks you for your benevolence. We'll only accept each one, each type once. I'm sorry, you're looking for donations, but also you're being picky about it. Donate meals for the needy. we only requires one of each dish, so consider donating your next meals. Dishes can be purchased from shops, menus are from shops to try around. I hate to be that guy, but what's in it for me, Sister Mel? You don't have anything to donate. I'm not currently capable of that, no. I, I guess that was... Huh. Yeah, okay. That's what I had to do here. That wasn't a landmark. Or an additional chore for me to get to. Get to. Okay, so no, it was on the side of this building. I can't actually get past this little. Oh, once again. Chest! Apples. Okay, do I have to get on the roof then? There's no other. I can't tilt the camera any higher than that. Like, there's no spot to stand in front of it where. Like how the fountain over here worked. Uh -oh. Alright, I guess I'll worry about that one later. Seems that it's another case where I have to be a little higher up. Pendleton. Massive sign hangs above the doorway. This must be the Pendleton Company Dokie was talking about. We decide to head inside to see if they have any information on the prison. Hmm. Could it be someone I already know? Small world and all that. This is simply reprehensible. <laughs> oh, there she is. Preposterous! His name is basically Rich. Krisha? Alrighty. Inside voice, sir. Kirisha. Omaiga Kuro Shetata Uriagedaro. 
You are an angry looking man. Reprehensibly preposterous. Preposterously. Uh, preposterously reprehensible. Overwhelm its competitors with sheer capital leverage. Oh my. とにかく私は今から守備隊の責任者に会いに行かねばならん。Wait, Got nothing to say for herself. You know, I haven't saved in a while, let me do that. Seems... Seems importanto. Yeah, I haven't saved since I first used the Crimson Line, good lord. Okay. Um, I don't want to talk to this, this guy. Can I speak to someone who's a little more... reasonable? Hmm? No one's suspicious, that's for sure. <laughs> Little Timmy will go walking. No, Christmas. As a guard. Really? That's what my outfit says to you? Sounds like you had something stolen. Vile leeches. Someone working here has to be Black Hat. Stealing from the rich and giving to the poor, etc., etc. She seems so meek, but maybe that's an act? Or maybe this is... A, I'm just thinking too hard about it, and... She's some random girl. Poor Krisha. Okay. I don't need to see any qualifications. Compensate him? For what? わかりました。わかりました。お気をつけて。Hmm. Why, yes, I am. So you're not here to find work then? I told that guy that. Nope, just information. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> One of our most premier business partners here at Pendleton. Okay. We can't just give their information away to one we've only just met. Here's a series of fetch quests. What if you hired me then? There you go. I'm not really sure I can. You're a lot bolder than I taking you at first glance. Thanks. You can't hand information like that without reason. Be that as it may. Yes. Uh oh. She wants to be alone with me. There's nothing to be gained from you being here right now. That's such a rude and gentle way of dismissing someone. I'd be better off helping out at the counter. She says it with a smile. Poor Krisha. Oh, okay, I'll go do that then. Crying quietly on the inside. Hey, Carla, how you doing? That was kind of harsh. A little bit. 
This is how we do things. I would not work in a place like that. Now then, I'll be frank with you. We heard that your company earnings have been stolen, correct? Would you be interested in helping us uncover the culprit? What do you mean? I'm offering you a business proposal. No hidden passage that leads to the prison. Find our perpetrator and it's yours. You're, the whole passage? You're just gonna like hand it to me? Sounds too good to be true. Do you respect my authority and be of use to us at the counter? Smile. <laughs> it would it would be more like, hey, you're kind of useless, but I'd like for you to leave the room right now. Stabs gently. Smile. Curtsy. Hmm. Someone broke into the vault, but there's no signs of a break-in. How curious! That is pretty odd. It certainly is. Both the garrison and the knights have yet to make much progress investigating. Yeah, the knights aren't really good for looking for things, just a side note. But I figure one who managed to escape Baldic prison might prove more ca- What? I'd call this fair a proposal- This as fair a proposal as any, would you, Adol Kristen? How the fuck? You know who I am? It's hard for anyone not to, given the uproar you caused, right? And yet no one has seen him. I had an inkling you were him, and it seems my hunt was- Oh shit, she bluffed. That said, I wouldn't bother with this proposal had I turned on- planned on turning you in. Okay. So you can rest easy. For meow. Not while you're around, I can't. We have a deal then. Huh, oh, shrewd, Carla. Shrewd. First order of business is to investigate the shanty town. Poor people? A sector of the northeast, as well as a subject of many rumor lately. It seems its residents have been enjoying an odd increase in prosperity of late. Like I said, Robin Hood. Steal from the rich, give to the poor. Alright, we're going to shanty town. Boop. Less of a town, more of a an alleyway. <laughs> Several routes through which you can. Western side is guarded by Roman soldiers, unpreferable for you. Okay. You may want to try taking the underpass from the agricultural district. So I have to go back the way I came and go up. Entrance should be around here, right across from the river. Seldom used and mildly dangerous, but that shouldn't be a problem for you. Use a boat on the nearby pier. It's just mildly dangerous. Report to me once you've uncovered any substantial leads. I take this before you leave. What's that? Ooh, money! A down payment of sorts. Huzzah! Oh, okay. Faint drop. Medical ingredients. Clinic will know what to do with them. Oh, okay. Could you not call me that so loudly? Thank you. Be sure to visit the armory in the clinic before heading to the underpass. Okie doke! Oh, now you give me a map legend. Oh, uh, okay. So those landmarks are... It was a miscellaneous event, not necessarily a landmark. Gotcha. Oh, I can fast travel. Neato! Let's do that now, shall we? Main gates. Story destination. I think that's the shop I need to go to. I might as well go there. Oh, this is a landmark. How the hell do I get to it? Anyway, fast travel. How? Yes. Oh, that's fabulous. Save me some time getting lost, because I have absolutely no sense of direction. Believe you me. Andalf's Armory. Never seen you around here before. You on the road? Yeah, you could say that. Got all sorts of arms and equipment here, so feel free to look around. Oh, you can enhance my weapons too. Goody goody. Buy and enhance weapons. Use materials to enhance and strengthen your weapon. Save on gold by using material. Yeah. Oh, I can enhance this currently? Oh, I just need copper ore. Cool. There we go. Gothic sword plus one. It gives me a bit more strength. Mm, like this, eh? And then I suppose I should buy some armor. The broadsword is a little better than what I currently have, but eh. 
Yeah, I'd need more copper ore to be able to upgrade it some more. Okay, so then we need to go to the clinic. I couldn't tell you where the hell that is. But there are a bunch of shops on the way here, right? So let's just take a look at them. It doesn't specify. It's the main gate and... Oh wait, no, this should be it then because this is the main area. I was supposed to go this way. Alright, well, it's not too far. I'll run. Am I in the right way? So hard to tell. Because I have no sense of direction. Very easy for me to get turned around and what what. It's gonna bug me. What is that? Okay, yes, this is a clinic. Okay. So this is probably a place I'll be spending some time. You're perhaps in need of a checkup. Fit is a fiddle, actually. <laughs> Medicine, you say? Maybe a clinic, but doesn't necessarily mean our stock is plentiful. That said, I have a proposal for a sprightly young lad like yourself. Another job. Bring me a bottle and the requisite materials, and I'll brew you whatever medicine you need for a nominal fee. Sounds like we have a deal then. Here, why don't you start off with this? Hopefully it's a bot. Okay. I'm like, well, she handed me some ingredients, but not a bottle. It looks nice and sterile. That it is. Explicitly designed for med medicinal use. They've been specially treated to resist bacterial growth. Interesting. Why, yes, I do. Carry a number of solid medications here as well. Feel free to give them a look. Using liquid medicines leaves you with an empty bottle. You can fill... Oh, okay. Neato. So it's a, um... It's a recycling deal we have here. That's good. And then here's some of the... I guess I should get one of each since I have the materials, right? These are just stuff I picked up while fighting. Oh, this gives me experience. Interesting. I, I don't need that just yet. Alright, I can only get one potion, so let's head over to the Agricultural District. Which is right down here. She said the, I could take the boat. But how do I get down there? Yeah, this is gonna drive me nuts. Oh, there's another shop over here. What's this? Perry's Pub. Oh, food. Meals will store the entire party's HP. Oh, and they're expensive. Okay. A preserved fig. I don't think that's a dish so much as a... Yeah, it's not. Damn, food is expensive! I mean, sure, yeah, it buffs your whole party. <laughs> Any hoodles? How the hell do I get down here? Because I still can't get past... yeah, no. But I do see a boat. A dock down there. Maybe it's on either side. Let's see, I can go down here. Yeah, okay. This is where I need to be. How nice. The city is, is quite large, it's like a self-contained little world. Oh, what's that? Cow! Well, kind of. I've got horns. I'm gonna go here. What's this? Oh, the petals! Okay, so they're just little floating blue objects. So I've got one petal for this area out of six. Four treasure, one graffiti. Huh. I wonder what those are for. Make sure I'm not missing anything back here. I don't need to heal. Oh, there's one. Gimme. Yes. 
Aha. Oh wait, there's graffiti over here too. It's a shop. Plenty of produce. Every one of our crops is bathed in sun and bursting in flavor! Okay. What you got? Flour, tomato, and red cheese. Okay, if I need to cook with any of those things. Sounds like a pizza. I'll, uh, come back here, Susie. Gold stained glow, the cresting dawn, the songbirds chirps, the w waking trees, the grand lord's river, majestic gleam. Truly is our world a brim with delight. Alright, yeah, calling these, um, graffiti are a bit of a stretch. I mean, there's, like, poetry and people leaving notes for each other. More of a, um, I guess graffiti would be the easiest thing to call it. Oh, there's a battle up there. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, I can't double jump in this form. Sad face. How else could I get up there? Oh, there's a chest too. Two? Yes. More flour. They clearly want me to make a pizza. Yeah, there's no way to get up there. I could stand on this, but there's no... Oh, wait. If I'm up on this ledge? Please hold. Hmm. It's a bit of a distance from the edge here, but... Ha! See, it would be so much simpler if I had my monstrum powers. Maybe he'll be able to use them at will at some point. Alright, down the river we go! It's just see the underpass appears to be on the other side, just like Carla said. She said to use a small boat to cross, but it seems occupied at the moment. Should I swim? Well, yeah, but I'm not in that form. Maybe you use your gift as a monstrum instead. Monsters can use your gift even when it- oh! Okay. Well, that's useful. And you're telling me no one's gonna see me and be like, um, that dude's not human. Can I pass through this? Yeah, I was about to say. It changed me. It's just like the barrier you ran into at the main gates. So we'll be able to move ahead with this in the way. Convenient. What are you doing here, Crimson King? Let me get barrier blocking your way. Those things make it pretty tough to get around the city when you're starting out. These gifts are handy and all, but sheesh, at what cost, am I right? Right? So how do I get through them? Well, it's no fun just telling you. Why don't you try searching around the agricultural district to start? Oh god, why? I'd hang back and help at all, but I've got other business to take care of. Sigh, it's got to conserve my strength for those noxes. Not like we have a choice in them. Catch you later! Hold on, wait, what? There appears to be some sort of condition for passing the barriers in the city. Ah, I knew it! So how is it here for me, but not here for her? When certain conditions are met. That makes no sense. Yeah, and it's all the way up. Okay. Well, let's look around. Well, that seems pretty obviously like it should be there. Do I have to fight things, or probably go into it, right? Some sort of... Yeah. This was fun for her! Monsters have appeared in the city. No one seems to notice. The Moors? Hey doll! Good day, Crimson King. Why is anyone panicking? Me. I like how she just quietly came out of nowhere. I, I like how they're they're totally fine with dancing in place while she gives me this tutorial. 
Oh, what a bargain! I get a special power, and also I can be harmed by these things. Ooh, she's got blades in there. So yeah, the packed version of um, Monster Nox also came with a a little mini what you call it? I'm doing horribly. Uh, mini soundtrack that came in the case with the game, which is pretty cool. Yep, I got a new new skill, which I'll be able to equip in just a moment. It was easy. So I'm going to be enjoying that. Yay! Tutorial! Spark new skills through battle! See, I've always enjoyed that too. Skills aren't tied to leveling up, they're actually tied to using skills. So as I continue to use Demonic Pierce, I'll learn new skills. As I continue to use Rising Flash, Slash, I'll learn new skills, and so on and so forth. I regret to inform that we cannot stop here. Oh, okay. Why did I change back and you did it? That ship has already left the port, as it were. I will assist you in eliminating the rest. I'm a fan of Dahl. Touch the black pillars strewn about Balduk and to initiate a battle with the Lemurs. Okay. Oh, I am I'm hurt. <laughs> I'll dodge more, I promise. It's a little odd that we just start fighting in the middle of the of the place without even having people glance at us. Oi, where did you come from? She's pretty helpful. I'll give her that. Oh. Okay, I was like, how is there a barrier here now? Two more. It seems I'm gaining Nox, whatever sort of currency that is. You can receive certain bonuses during combat for aerial combos and skill finishes. Which, yeah, they, you also gain more experience by finishing with a skill. So that's something to try and aim for while you're... While you're fighting. Enemies are weak to different types of damage. Adol is slash, and then there's also pierce and crush. But it seems those haven't become important just yet. Perhaps a short break is in order. Tea? Breaks are for the weary. <laughs> <laughs> I see. My apologies for assuming. Wait, would she have healed me? Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Field recovery. Stand still. Oh, okay. Well. I guess either way I would have taken a break. Let me just... There we go. I like how it shows the crazy path I just took trying to avoid that thing. Oh, I didn't have to take use raisins earlier. I hoisted my raisins. This one may prove difficult. Hold on, she has a bow? Or is that a double-sided knife? Crimson King, releasing your power all at once should make quick work of them. Mawana? Boost gauge. Like this! And I'm super fast! What the? And the sword is bigger too, okay. I see you, Adol, I see you. Yep, he certainly hits harder. Again, no one sees us dressed like this in the middle of nowhere. Like the slow pan. Like, hey, check her out. You aren't human, are you? There we go. I'm not gonna point that out. That's very kind of you to say. Ah. Okay. I see my circumstances differ slightly. Wait, were you, like, brought to life? The other monsters were quite bewildered when I spoke of this to them. You, however, appear to be taking this rather calmly, Crimson King. I've seen my fair share in life. I see. <laughs> Quite intriguing individual. Like draws like, it would seem. Ta-da! We can continue. Or probably have to beat the shit out of one more thing. 
Miasma Vortex in Entryway. Oh, okay. So we can just enter and that's correct. Several methods. Is being summoned by force, yes, by, uh, by our boss, and then... We didn't find it so much as it just kind of appeared, but I, I understand what you mean. A more practical approach would better serve in lieu of further explanation. Try entering the vortex yourself. Are you not coming with me? Ugh. Fine. How close this should level up? Close-ish. Get in there. Alright, let's see. Residual and enmity lingers in the air here. You shouldn't just leave this be. <laughs> okay. Oh, alright. Required level 5, I've got that. Three waves, vortex. Okay, so I just have to hold off another siege. Neato. There was a point to this one. Does that mean I won't have the whole team with me, though? Maybe just all? And for that matter, where does Aprilis go while she's- Oh, nope, whole team. Hiccup. What gives? Are you drunk? I was just having a drink, too. Which one of you did this? Did you already find the entrance, Crimson King? That was fast. We're all in the same boat. Might as well help out. Let's just get this over with. So that's gotta be inconvenient for their lives. Like, anytime one of their teammates does something, does they just get sucked into a vortex? What if you're in the middle of something important? Like, god forbid one of them was like a surgeon and they're working on a patient. It's like, yoink! Oops. Oh, she is here. Are you ready, Crimson King? Oh, I'm ready. I'm always ready. Hmm, of course you are. <laughs> Do it just as you did before. This mean must be intact for the Grimwald Nox to end. We'll focus on channeling power to this mean in order to end this Nox. Until I do your duties to safeguard it. Why do we need- Yeah, what is this thing? Before this mean is imbued with power, it is no more than a mere pillar. This mean extracts enmity from the Nox. That is why Lemurs are drawn to it. We will have failed if this mean is destroyed before it's filled with power. And if it isn't, it will be our victory. It's quite simple. Easy for you to say. Makes us grunt to all the lift heavy lifting as usual. Uh, you just have to keep the Lemurs away from the Sphine, right? Sounds simple enough. Let's get the show on the road. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hmm. She's very theatrical. Yeah, we, we we've already done this. Why are you just showing this to me? Kind of weird that they're just now giving me tutorial tips. Oh, where did... I know one more person. Not checking out my teammates, not at all. Just a little curious. Seems that... HP on the side? It sucks, though, that they go right past me. Like, they don't give a shit that I'm in, in front of them. They're just like, we gotta destroy this. I remember listening to the light and dark. Preposterous! Silence! Grunt! <laughs> Grim, are you sailing a ship right now? It seems that you are. Oh god, get away from there! There's three waves, that was number one. Support skills! Currently queued support skills. I I can't really select them, why are you even telling me that? 
I was wondering what those faces were, but I figured it was like health or something. Starting hot out the gate. I feel like I should just stand here and wait for them to come to me. Because going out there to them is not not working out in my best interest currently. Like they're just rushing past. Wait. You can dodge in midair, which is pretty useful. Wait. Yeah, it seems like the enemies will like to just rush past you to the pillar. Yeah. Like, hello, there's a tasty man right here. Why don't you attack him instead? Oh, goodness gracious. Nothing quite like turning around and seeing something real ugly looming over you. Come here. Bad boy. Oh, pow! Nope. We're good. We're good, all good. Haha! You're gonna be okay. Oh. Lord. What the hell kind of skeleton bus is this? Oh, skeleton caterpillar bus. You require assistance? Ah, oh, girl, we good. Oh, I forgot about this. This thing here. This amazing thing here. Haha! -ha. Look, I've got little fiery. I'm gonna say wings, but it just looks like the spire coming out of me. Ta da! <laughs> I enjoy her face. Can I just say that? If they make a scale figure of her, I'm getting it. Adding it to my little my little monstrum Nux shrine corner. Wait, what did I lose, Nox? Or is that a good thing? Four rankings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, how are you just showing this to me? I've done it before. I didn't get an HP bonus this time. Yay! This is just the beginning, of course, so I expect things to pick up. Oh, copper ore, I can level up my sword here. You have successfully returned. What are you still here? Please look closely at what is about to occur. Uh, okay. Yeah, I kind of figured this what would happen. Now we can continue! You understand, then. I'm not an idiot, doll! Barriers like these restrict our movements throughout the city, but by manifesting and lifting the Nox, you can remove them one by one. These miasma vortices that manifest the Nox appear after fulfilling certain objectives. Defeating Lemurs is one such objective, though undoubtedly not the only one. Okay, good. I like some variety. My apologies, but it's nearly time for me to depart. If you would excuse me, we'll meet again. Then next, the grim old Nox appears. She's so pleasant. Huzzah! Remove a barrier. And now we can continue on with our journey, I should save. And I have a bit more money now, so I can actually go get some... Get some equipment and whatnot. underground path should lead from the agricultural district to the shanty town. It should be unused for the most part, but traces on the ground indicate otherwise. Oh, of course. Best not let your guard down. Okie doke! Acquiring items and materials. Oh, I can actually break stuff down here. Journal entry? About Aprilis? How you doing, girl? You can see all the artwork here. Ooh, it looks nice like they'll update as we continue to you know, learn more about them. Support skills. 
Affinity, one star. I can gain affinity with a Prilith. Hello! Um, no one else but Doki. Interesting. Oh. I definitely could have dodged that. <laughs> yeah, here's one of the breakable points that can actually harvest stuff. Okay, well. Only certain items are breakable. Sad, sad. Got thin hide from that. Good heal here. But level up is good. What manner of horrible beast are you? Yeah, see, dodging gives you a a moment to use a flash move. There's nothing shiny in here I could break. I can zip to something or another. Just making sure I'm not going past any objects. Nope. Huh. I mean, that could be useful if I there was anything actually up here. Oh, there's a switch. Oh, there we go. Okay, so what's over here? It's closed. Doesn't look like it opens from here, but there's a chest on the other side. Gimme. Oh, I can open both of them. Okay, left or right? Go this way first. Oh, chest! Yes, good choice. Just both the chests. Chest. Leather necklace, new equipment. Oh, and I had this spark ass talisman. Okay. Strength and defense by four. Protects me from curse status. I'm gonna go up there now. I do like the, the zipping feature. Kinda opens up the world a little bit. Oops. There we go. Oh, there's stone over here. Oh, lumber somehow. The weird thing to get. It's enemies in this room. These enemies are ugly. Oops. First. Weird bubble thing. Oh! Oop. I didn't think they did die that quickly. Copper ore, I can for sure level up my items now. I might buy the broadsword just for the sake of having it. But I think I'm going to stick with this little guy. Although, I guess I should equip it just to see what it'll look like. Nothing in there. Oh, I guess it is lumber. Kinda looked like a stone before. The pad. And then... Hmm, empty room. Gee, I wonder what this could be all about. What sort of sewer mutant is flopping around in here? I think it's just a giant version of what I just faced. Could be. We'll kill it and call it an episode. His outfit is... awesome. Hmm, that sounds like... <laughs> well, Grim, you were... We're not right. That's... I don't know what the fuck that is. It's a fly? Gizelub. That's, that's cute and strange. <laughs> I was wrong. I was so wrong. <laughs> oh no. It's leaving babies. Oh, I was right. It is a giant version. I mean, well, an adult version, I guess. Oh, that's disgusting. Stop it. I'm just trying to build my boost meter up. You can see it's the red inner circle there. Seriously? 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 This is just gonna keep happening. Oh! Do that. And then, hopefully, continue to do damage until you did. Little babies are alarming. 
the lock on is locking on to all the wrong things, unfortunately. Oh, unfortunately. It's like, oh, look at all these little ones. You should definitely just look at them. Just look at them. Just, hey, I'm over here. At this point, I would have preferred a giant rat, I'm just saying. Like, that would be good. Not whatever the fuck is happening here. With these, uh. What I thought were, I don't know, a leech. Very pointy leech. Let's see what happens when I get my bar all the way up. It's almost there. And. Maxed. I think my skill up skills a ton in this mode of form too. It's a little a little faster. Just die. Woohoo! Alright. Exploded into smoke. With a crazy pattern on the ground where it was running everywhere. All right, sweet freedom. <laughs> Although there is a chest over here. Oh, this is the other side of it. Can I open this? Haha! Shortcut. Oh, two more raisins. <laughs> Just single raisins. Alrighty, gamers. This was the first um, two hours. Goodness, of Monstrum Knox the newest chapter in the series. And it's a good ass time if you've played the other games and you'll you'll enjoy this one. I mean, it, you already know what you're getting into if you played the other games. Although it, it has done a couple of things to make things different from the other titles, such as Adol being in now this monstrum form, being able to go to a different dimension and uh, zip line to things. So we'll see how these powers manifest later and whether or not I'll actually have control of my party members. I really like this. Think you'll stream this some more in the future? Is that a hint at a hint hint, Grim? Sure, I can stream some more after I've gained some experience under my belt. Can do. But I'll catch you next time. Um, I will try to stream, uh, what's it called? Cyberpunk, my playthrough. Uh, like I said, I'm a lot earlier in than Nico is. But I'll try to stream Cyberpunk before we get to the weekend, but we shall see. So, until next time, thank you for joining me, Grimmy, and G Man, where he be, wherever he's gone, and to anyone watching this in post, stay in the know.